you know, as I sit out here in the beauty of the early, early morning and just ponder the beauty of God's creation, um, I find myself thinking about all the, <clears throat> the distress, the anxiety, plague is in our nation, in our world. The protests are still happening. Racism is still a reality in our culture. I just saw in the news that Confederate flags flew at Talladega. And, um, you know, Confederate flag has all kinds of different, all kinds of different connotations to it. Uh, some are just incredibly racist. I mean, it was a, it's a, it was a flag of a nation fighting a, to maintain slavery. And the United States won that war. Slavery is illegal now in the United States. Um, but the heritage goes on, but it also speaks to, we want, we want to maintain our culture. It's so incredibly complicated. I found my mind going to Acts chapter 1. John baptized with water, but in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. And they wanted, they had questions. <laughs> makes, makes total sense. He said to them, it's not for you to know the times or dates the Father set by his authority. Don't worry about those kinds of things. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you. And you'll be my witnesses. Jerusalem, in all Judea, Samaria, to the ends of the earth. And the power of the Holy Spirit to bring diverse cultures, diverse races, diverse people into a unity around the gospel of Jesus Christ is astounding. This picture is a, a picture from Beni, Congo. And it's a, it's a group of people I worked with in, when I was in Kampala a year and a half ago. And I see this and here's the gospel teaching going on in an incredibly, incredibly, incredibly poor place. But they're proud of their culture. They're proud of their heritage. They're proud of their African life. And the gospel is what pulls us together. And there's a beauty and diversity that is incredible. Because the unity in the Holy Spirit says God wanted it to be. So it's every tongue, tribe, kindred, nation gathered together, Revelation 7, to worship the King. That's what we're going to do here at Grace. We've got some growing to do in our own family, but we want to be a place where the intrusions of our world, in whatever form they come, do not hinder us from pursuing the unity of the gospel of Jesus Christ, not just in words, but in actions. We've got a lot of work to do yet, but by the power of the Holy Spirit, we will do that work. Amen.